This is absolutely beautiful. Sage's Ravine, just in Massachusetts. Absolutely gorgeous. Good morning, everybody. May 17th, day 137 on Appalachian Trail. It's about quarter after seven in the morning. Uh, we had an uneventful night last night. We came in hot, set up in the dark, made something to eat, hung the bear hang, got it stuck. Got it unstuck this morning. And uh, we woke up, it was probably in the low 40s. So uh, we packed up and uh, we're on the trail. But check this out. Really, really scenic in here. A little rocky, and with any ravine, you're up and over, down and in, and around and through. But man, is it beautiful! Hello, Massachusetts. Wow. So, uh, oh, we got a big down here. I'm going to have to put this away, but I uh, hope you have a good day. Happy hump day. And uh, let's go get some more views. Hey now, we crawled out of the ravine and, uh, well actually we crossed it. We crossed it and then headed up and uh, now we're in the woods. It is absolutely beautiful. Real crisp morning with the wind blowing. Sun's out. Birds are singing. This is an A1 perfect morning. Feeling better. Actually climbed up that hill and didn't have too much of a problem yet. But uh, yeah, we'll see uh, what this day brings. But man, is it nice. It's supposed to get really cold tonight. Down to 30. So uh, we're going to try and shoot for Great Barrington. Go in there and uh, maybe get something to eat charge some batteries up and then head to a shelter try and stay warm uh, we were gonna stay at a place but I think we're shooting for Saturday to uh, do laundry and take a shower and all that stuff because it's supposed to rain all day so we'll see you know how plans change that is the thought for now but we'll see where it takes us but until then Man, let's go find some more views. So far, I'm absolutely loving Massachusetts. All right, let's get her done. One thing I forgot about this backpack is the squeaks. It's been barking at me the last couple days. It's not all the time, it's on and off, and sometimes it's louder than the others. But it's barking a little bit this morning. I don't know if it's how I pack it. I mean, I've done everything I could to try and stop it, but it's just not working. So when this hike's over, it's going back. I got this thing <laughs> patched up pretty good. I mean, I used it quite extensively when I was training. Well, not so much training, but doing some small hikes just to see if this was even feasible. And uh, I exclusively use this pack. That's the only pack I had. And uh, worked great until the second day on the AT when it broke. And then I haven't had it ever since, so it's back in the saddle. <clears throat> it does carry the weight better, but it is a bulky pack and it's heavier. 
all right you kind of get the gist looks like we're going up now just walking through some beautiful woods and uh, we got some massive climbs coming too so just waiting for that to hit Alrighty then, we'll come back on when we see something cool, something neat, something worth talking about. Oh, what's this action here? You are now traveling through the homelands of the Mohican people, the indigenous, indigenous inhabitants of this land. Please respect this land during your journey. Well, you know what? I think some of them people are some of the most badass people that are around. Imagine living out here every day, climbing up and over these mountains. I mean, that's what you did. All right. It's getting rocky. The other two must have stopped for a potty break or something. They're nowhere in sight. <clears throat> I'll get up here and wait for them, make sure they're all right. Peace out. We came from, we're getting up there. Beautiful woods. And that's where we're going. Just came out of a big climb, hit a viewpoint. Check this out. Massachusetts, my gosh. Why is it waited, why have I waited this long to come up here? It is beautiful here. Talk about a setup right there. Heck yeah. The base of a mountain. And here's the rocks we're standing on here. The trail literally just popped out right there. It came up through here and boom. And then we go right back through the woods. Absolutely gorgeous. Time for a pack break. For the record, this is Mount race ledges um, 1517.5 feet so we're gonna just sit here and relax a little bit wait for everybody to catch up fuel up rest up and then we're on our way And the views keep coming. Man, that is a nice setup down there.
to where we're going. That's where we came from. Pretty vertical. I'm trying to take a breather here and whew, had some things I wanted to address. Uh, we got to the campsite last night. It looked like somebody had camped there and they had a big ass tent. And I don't know if it broke or they just didn't want it anymore. They just left it lay. I mean, there was, there was stuff everywhere just laying there and it was pretty big. So that's uh, definitely not cool. I don't want people to do that kind of stuff. But on a lighter note, a lot of people I've talked to have said, once you get to the New England states, once you get north of PA, and you get up in the Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, you know, all the states in the, in the Northeast, people are rude, they're not friendly, I couldn't be further from the truth. We've had such good people we've ran into. I have zero complaints. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know if it was uh, just the way people come off. I don't know. I can't, I can't explain it, but everybody's been super cool. And it's been thoroughly enjoyable. We ran into... I didn't get a picture of these two guys, but we ran into uh, two older gentlemen through hiking, or section hiking. One we met yesterday was uh, Mountain Drew. And the one we met today was Toast. Good people. Now I'm, I'm just about dead. I'm going to go pile shit off. Whew. This is what I'm looking at directly eye level. <laughs> that baby is steep. That's where we were. I got some more of this nonsense. Whoa! And we're still going up, 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 up. High level. And we're about halfway up. That's a good climb. Whew. That was a doozy. Looks like they had a fire tower up here at one time. There's the pilings. Don't really have my head better view back here. Ooh, let me see if I can get up here. And, oh, there's a little bit of a view. There are some big mountains over there, buddy. Woo! Wow. Well, look at here. Alrighty. It's a robin, isn't it? Hey, what kind of bird are you? Okay, now we are at the, this viewpoint, got a nice bench, an old shelter. We're going to just take a break after doing that killer climb and get back on the trail. Talk to you in a bit. Mount Everest.
Everett, elevation 2487. Now behind us there's some really big mountains and I would suspect that's where we're going. Psst, happy birthday. <laughs> Today is point seven's birthday. Hey now, uh, we didn't stay long at that viewpoint. It was pretty cold and windy. It was a really neat place though. Um, on our way there, we ran into uh, two through hikers. They're heading south, uh, Woody and Volt and her dog. And I can't remember the dog's name. I wanted to say Cheyenne. Point seven thinks it was Misty. It might have been Misty. Anyway, good people. Talked to them for a little bit and then uh, now we're heading off this mountain. Talk to you in a bit. R2 came to the rescue. The dog's name was Whitney. Same thing, only different. It rhymes with Cheyenne. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. Now, we stopped at a shelter back here and had some lunch. And uh, our two and point seven made a hot lunch because it's, it's cold out. Um, I just had my sun shirt on and I was cold because that thing is like next to nothing. So I put this little garbage bag on. They call it a windbreaker. I think a garbage bag is thicker. But anyway, it's working. Um, Got my gloves on, still had shorts on. But anyway, uh, we're thinking about pushing to uh, Great Barrington and then uh, go in town, get something to eat, and maybe spend a night for her birthday. It'd be a nice break, and she's just not feeling it today, so no need to push it. So that's the game plan for now. I will keep you posted, but right now, heading down the trail. Mount Greylock. Be there in 64 miles. She's a big one.
Hey now, May 17th, day 137 on the Appalachian Trail. Um, we did a total of 12.4 miles. We went from Sages Ravine Campsite to Jug End Road. 12.4 miles. Um, took a spill today. Hurts pretty good basically rock rash from sliding all the way down banged my knee screwed up my foot but i tell you what that was some climbing the day that was rock climbing that wasn't hiking but uh that's what it is um gonna soak in the tub and, or in the shower and try and clean everything up uh we got the jug end road and we called up a shuttle and uh we came to the quality inn and uh, we're gonna stay here for the night instead of outside. It was supposed to get down in the 30s with wind. That was gonna get pretty cold. We were beat, tired. We uh, had an option to come here, and so we are all three of us uh, split in a hotel room or motel room. So anyway, um, got a shuttle here, and then we walked downtown and um, looked around in Great Barrington and. Went to a Mexican place, got something to eat, and then uh, came back here, and uh, we're just uh, queuing, uh, queuing up for the shower. So uh, I would imagine it's going to be an early night, and we'll be back on the trail tomorrow. They have a continental breakfast here, so we'll probably hit that up, and then we'll, uh, uh, we're going to get our shuttle back to the trail and head north. So that's it for today. I hope you had a good day, and I will catch you in the morning happy hump day and have a good night